Hello everyone, it's Jade and welcome to a new Let's Play on the channel. This is all based around the new expansion pack for Rent. It has taken me a really long time to actually go through and set this LP up the way I wanted to set it up. And it's probably not even as set up as I would really love it to be, but let's just have fun, which is um, my whole intention here. But at the moment, you guys will probably not recognize the sims that are in this apartment, but I've actually gone to the effort of bringing some sims back from some older LPs. And if you're new to the channel, you might not even know who they are, but I just thought it would be really nice to bring back some of my older sims and just have a bit of fun, you know, put them in the world, because um, I can have them all in one lot now. So I actually have Rosalie Fleming, which is my lovely blondie here, who is from my big sister challenge. So she was actually the big sister. So this is her, she's grown up. She has, she's starting a family of her own. She's not being the mother to her younger siblings anymore in a sense, but her younger siblings do live in this hotel complex, hotel, um, apartment complex that she has actually invested a lot of her income into. And she is married, as you can see, to her partner, Citra. And Citra is local to, I don't even know what the world's called yet because I'm terrible, but she'll be local to this area. Um, and that's what made Rosalie want to move over here. But I was literally just going through all my old Sims and I was going through all my old saves and I was just opening up a few of them to see kind of, cause I had completely forgotten what my previous families were like. And I was just gobsmacked at how gorgeous Rosalie was. It's been so long since I've played my big sister challenge. It's crazy, but the genetics were good. So we've got Ro we've got Rosalie and we've got her daughter Ada, which I think is such a cute name. But so we've got Rosa and Ada. Did I leave her as Fleming? I did. I probably need to hyphenate their names, but I've just left it. Um, this is Citra. So she's a bit more of um, I wouldn't say a tomboy, but how gorgeous is she? Her lashes are even just. Mm. I had to, the only thing I hate about this hair is it's very high on the head. I've had to kind of move her eyes up to kind of make it a bit better, but she's gorgeous. This is Citra. Um, did I give Citra a surname? Citra Surya. Suri, Surya? I'm sorry if I butcher any of the names. And then we also have Sari Surya. So Sari is her grandmother. So technically she is Ada's great grandmother. So how cool is that? Um, I have put uh, Citra's brother in the world. So he's somewhere out and about. Honestly, anybody who's not living in this apartment, I just kind of threw people out. <laughs> But yeah, it's so cute. And I took so long to build this apartment because technically you're building four small houses, really. And y'all know how long it takes me to build a house. It's crazy. So I look forward to having the speed build up. I will eventually get there. It'll probably be released in parts, um, but it will just be easy for me to do it that way. So yeah, that's our family. So Rosalie, so Ada is Sunny. <laughs> um, Rosalie is, oh, I'm actually, so this is where I like, I don't remember what she was up to previously. So she's ambitious, generous, and cheerful. She's a morning sim, good manners, and responsible. How good is that? She's business savvy for having a fortune aspiration. She's gregarious and she's domestic. Oh my God. Does this recently had her first woohoo? Oh. <gasps> Rosalie fell in love. She was with a boyfriend previously um, when she was a teen, but I thought, you know, we grow up and we do different things. Also, Ada would be a spliced baby between both of Citra and Rosalie. So I think that's really cute. But I guess it doesn't actually tell you who like her previous loves or anything were. Um, yeah, well, it's pretty much like all the residents in the building, um, but we'll see them as they come through. But Hina Sharma is actually from my snowy escape LP. So Hina was the youngest daughter of the family that we had in there. And Hina is actually adorable. Um, she also has one of the cats, Cinnamon, that we had in that LP in the apartment below us. We have Josephine, who was Rosalie's youngest sister, or only sister, but her young sister. Um, and we also have Blaine, who was her younger brother. So those were the two siblings that she was taking care of through the Big Sister Challenge. We have Koi, who is Citra's brother and Sari's grandson. We have Hayden from my high school years. Hayden Harlow. Also, are you guys like flabbergasted that we don't have alliteration in this family? Not mad about it because this is obviously before alliteration was a thing. 
because Rosalie Fleming isn't obviously, you know, alliteration. But nonetheless, so we have Hayden, Hina. Hina's not even alliteration either. Anyway, nonetheless, so Hayden is actually, I don't know if I, I think I've got them engaged, him and Cassandra. So they've moved out of home. He wanted to, I'm pretty sure he was like really hardworking um, student under his dad, who was like a very large businessman. Um, but he met Cassandra and Cassandra wanted to kind of get away from that world. So they've kind of come here. They also have a daughter, Karina. And I was going to get Cassandra and Hayden to have more kids. So I might implement that in a little bit just because of their apartment that I've actually made has a bunch of space. And we'll kind of tour the apartments as we go and visit people or if we have to do, I don't know, rental things. I don't know what that really is. Um, but yeah, how cute. So we've got, you know, those three in one of the apartments. We've got Josephine and Blaine in one apartment and then we've got Hina in her apartment. Koi's just out in the world doing something, but... <laughs> But how cute. So this is my lovely weird apartment if nobody has seen it yet. And there's, um, oh my God, Karina. I was gonna call her Serena. Um, Karina, and then we've also got Hayden just chilling out the front. But I thought it was, look, it's a pretty okay looking one. I definitely could be doing more, but for now. Oh, he's out here cooking, stop it. Uh, does she register you as your brother? So this is what I'm nervous of. Childhood buds, tenant, brother, multi-unit neighbor, friend, and neighbor. How cute is that? Does she have any particular memories with Josephine? Friend, sister, neighbor, tenant, multi. Oh, well, isn't that cute? I'm very excited for all of this. And everybody just keeps cooking food and leaving it here. Um, but anyway, so this is the like apartment complex, and on the first floor we have. See how it's all cute and pastel-y? Tee so that's Hina's apartment. Um, I've tried to go with a bit of snowy escape kind of theme as well as pastels. Um, and then we have Josephine and Blaine in here. It definitely is only a one bedroom apartment, but I didn't want to split the family up, especially since she's the big sister, so she's meant to be caring for her siblings nonetheless. So Josephine actually is given the room here and Blaine just kind of has a little fold out bed that he sleeps in here with. Then we have like a communal, um, I was gonna say seating area, but um, communal lounge area. And then we also have the outdoor area with a pool and some hopscotch and some marbles. Um, and then upstairs we have like a communal sitting area, like a bit of just a hallway. And then we have a communal bathroom, which has the washing machine and all that in there. <gasps> I realized I didn't do a line, but we've got, you know, a dryer in here anyway. And then these come into double story apartments. So this is, um, I was going to say Harlow's, Hayden and Cassandra's. Because I haven't even, oh no, they are married. So she's a Harlow. Don't even worry about it, guys. Um, and then we have our apartment. So I guess just to go into a little bit further, I've definitely got like a random weird space here that I don't know what to do with, but we've got the kitchen space, a table, a bit of like a desk area. Then we have, uh, did I call her Sorry, Yeah, sorry. Sari's bedroom. And then we go upstairs and we have like another little sitting chill area. Um, the bathroom, this will be, I probably need to put a bit more character in here, but it, girl, it took me a long time to build all this. But this is Citra and Rosalie's room. Also bear with me if it takes me a long time to remember everybody's names because I've literally just been building for a long time that I've already forgotten who, what, when, where, and why. And um, we've got a second bathroom and then we have Ada's room. I tried really hard to go with the style of this. Yeah, look, very out of my comfort zone, but I had a lot of fun. So this is meant to be uh, Karina's room and then you've got Cassandra and <clears throat> Hayden's room. So sorry if my voice is also croaky, um, but it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I know that we've poached it. We are the landlords, but um. I guess we'll figure it all out. Citra has though joined the handy person career um, and she also has the aspiration for Fountain of Tamarani, Fountain, Fount of Tamarani knowledge. So maybe it is meant to be Fountain. But anyway, so she's obviously wanting to get back to her culture or her roots. You know, she's got Sari, a sweeping barrel. So they're really engaged. I thought I had married them. Never mind. Potty humor, tell a gross joke. Um, but yeah, so I think my little munchkin is hungry and then tired, so we should be able to play peekaboo. But we can also feed, breastfeed, um, and then we're going to 
she's just going to oh no she just put it on the floor so let's can i um just sorry wait sign left side okay i hope i've done that right i love how she just left the child can you just please attend to ada because you really like the name ada and gosh don't we just love infants guys <laughs> boobies ibi hashanisi cool well i really kind of don't know what we're doing so oh she's still in the barista career level three from when she was i love that it carries over but that was from when um it's gonna be so weird for me to see people squatting but i'm all about it um so yeah she was a barista previously so i need to actually work on is she tired oh bobs let's go put put ada down here let's go put ada to bed and we have like the little toddler potties as well i have actually play a test at this house at all cool well oh let's put these in the world let's get as much money as we can oh i have to go into build mode and sell it don't i such a such a thing isn't it but citra is so cute i can't wait for us to have more kids her eyes <laughs> um but yeah so i was saying rosalie has the oh no who's having a uh, cute issues is it you because you're just sitting here for a while cool anyway do you hear that oh it's making me anxious it must be rosalie good gosh oh probably should upgrade it first oh my god is she okay what, what are we doing here oh it's hina hina is so gorgeous see look at hina Oh, I have actually moved like Hina's family in the world, like, uh, but they don't actually live anywhere specific. So, <laughs> um, so she's a snuggly sleeper. So she prefers to fall asleep in people's arms. Acquired the comedy skill. Um, but yeah, so we want to become a five-star property owner. So have a unit occupied by a tenant. So this is what I'm kind of nervous about as well. So I'm just going to do a quick save is that I don't really know how tenants work. And I know a lot of tenants move in and out, but I kind of just want us here forever. So I hope it doesn't do that to me because I will cry real tears. Handle a maintenance event. Keep your tenants happy by attending to the maintenance events. Um, perform an inspection pass. See, what are these things? Hold on. Uh... Oh my God. <laughs> That's right. I also made Sari a bit of a, a snoopy. A bit nose. She's a bit nosy. Oh, she wants to be friendly with Josephine. Sure. But I've definitely made her <laughs> discover secrets. Oh, she's found out a secret. I think it was about Citra, actually. Citra. I love the name Citra. Um, so gummy tummy. Since the dawn of time, gummy bear pancakes have been regarded as a delicacy enjoyed by all. The notion ends today. I don't care if I'm the only one who thinks this. I will meet Grim on this hill alone. Gummy bear cake, pancakes are disgusting. Ah, uh, how dare you? That's fine. Not everybody has to like it. Sorry is a nosy sim in the world of secrets and snooping. Nosy sims thrive. Sorry, I thought it was a full stop. Uh, nosy sims have few boundaries and will often attempt to pry the information they crave from others. Not everyone appreciates the enthusiasm of a nosy sim, but we all know that won't stop them on their unending quest for hot goss. They'll also gain the photography and writing skills more quickly. That's cool. Um, she also has the, the wise, so she's wise. So Sari is a wise sim. These sims have lived a full life of experience and acquired a wealth of knowledge along the way. They enjoy and are more effective when mentoring other sims with their occasionally unsolicited morals of wisdom. Throughout the years, they have also learned how to deal with angry and uncomfortable emotions more quickly and will gain all skills faster and increase satisfaction. That's so good because half the time you'll pick up a, like an elder sim and you've got to work at the same kind of skill level as a, like a young adult and they just don't get like the satisfaction out of it. <laughs> However, sometimes past unwanted memories might emerge from a wise sim's mind, sim's mind palace. I was going to say place. When reflecting on life, it's just a small price to pay for their archive of knowledge. How cute. Oh, look at her. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, so she's a little nosy. So I kind of went to go for a bunch of different. Oh, how do I... Oh, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? No, that's wolves. It's, oh, it's here. 
Okay, so we are very lucky that we're gonna be starting off with a bunch of, literally a four star, you're welcome. Can I increase the rent by day? So this is travel to unit view agreement. So it's 117, so, wait, so size to raise the tier quality. Oh, okay, amenities, amenities, oh my God. Place items for da 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 da. I've obviously put the cheapest um, shower and fridge in, but environment is fancy. Damn, maintenance is poor. Sheesh. Keep the unit and shared space clean and repaired. Greet and initiate positive rental interactions with your tenants. Abide by the unit rules and participate in events to raise the tier's quality. So we've got no ghosts. I didn't want to say no pets because Hina has a pet. Why does Cassandra look like that? Oh my god. I don't think I did any outfit except her first outfit, to be fair. <laughs> okay. So I I I would have made this longer if I could have, but I can't really. So fancy amenities is desirable. What is theirs? Luxury. It's probably because they have two bathrooms. Um Ah, I didn't mean to travel to go see Hina. God dang flabbit. Oh, hey, Hina. So this is Hina's apartment. <laughs> it's kind of cute, no? Oh, it doesn't keep the, like, the wall paints in. How interesting. Oh, she's gonna go talk. She's... Rude introduction to Cinnamon, stop. <laughs> Friendly introduction. It's really cat in the building. Oh, Hina's coming to talk to us. Hey, Hina. We're gonna give her a cheerful intro. Oh, I forgot that. See, this is very exciting to actually pick up Sims that already have skills as well. So she's got her max cooking. She's got her, yeah, that's right. She was flower arranging all the time. Maybe I should get her a flower arranging table here. I think that would be nice. Comedy, Christmas is good. Her gardening is good. Gourmet and handiness are good. Maybe I should have made her my handy lady. Whoa. Oh, that's so nice. Hey, Hina. How cute is Hina? I should have got her the little cat tattoo. Oh, I'd like these guys to be good friends, but also, you know, <clears throat> still pay rent on time. Okay, what can I, so we've got all these. Rental, um, blame tenants, commend, unjustly evict. Ask about rental conditions. How are you feeling about everything, Hina? <gasps> A thumbs down. What have I done wrong? Hina, please. No, Hina. <gasps> Do inspection and maintenance. Oh. Interesting. Do I get like a little feedback? Oh, Amy. Hug. She literally just wants to hug her. She's like, please don't yell at me. Well, I also didn't put, no, I did put a cat. No, I didn't, no. I thought I put a cat bowl down. Well, it's not my problem. Oh, I love that the cat, like the pets just use the communal areas. I didn't think about that. Um, okay, well, what I might try to do is do an inspection and maintenance. I don't know what this is doing, but I'm just trying to do some rental things. You know, that's my job. It's actually so cute. <laughs> I need to quit my job though. Hey, Heen. I want to make you laugh. Follow household shoe rolls. Funny. Maybe we can give her a bit of a knock knock joke. Just introduce a bit of a softer atmosphere. Discuss some logic puzzles. Um, perform an inspection pass. A handle a maintenance event. Let's say maintenance events. How do I do? Oh, visit the rental unit and sort the issue. So I'm guessing this is if somebody requests assistance with maintenance. Is she going to go swing on the swing? Stop. She's got, oh, I didn't realize she had the swagger walk. Ask to swing with Hina. Come on, Hina, jump on the swing with me. You get some more lights out here. Look, I didn't really think about these things. <laughs> it's all up for improvement. She's like, I'm a cool tenant. I'm a cool owner. We're friends. Yeah. She actually has like stuff that we can buy from the reward store too. Like two things. <gasps> Is there any new stuff from the rental pack here? Dun 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 It doesn't look like it. This is the most... This is the only thing that makes you really want to cry in this game is the reward store in this. Compared to The Sims 3. It's a boring doesn't look like anything new is in here either, which is also sad. All right, well, we've checked in on Hina. I think we should probably go home. It's a bit late. She just walked to her apartment door and then we travel. 
that what happens? Thanks for hanging out, Heen. All right, I think we're doing all right. Oh my God, is somebody at the pool? Oh. <laughs> Cooking some food, of course, and then Citra. Oh, what's wrong, babe? You left here on the floor by yourself. Uh, my golly. Okay, well, Citra's coming to help. You're cooking. What are you cooking? Chili? All right, someone's butt's getting burnt. Thanks, Citra. Can we can we technically breastfeed as well? Because we're both the parents? Oh, sold. Hold on. No, no, leave it. Citra's already there. Wait, why are you just leaving the child there? Oh my god. Baby care. Give Ada a nap. Stop. I need to see this. Hey. Stop you little grumpin' baby. And then I want to give Ada a nap, which I think she just sits down and she holds her and it's the cutest thing ever. Nap, why are you sad? Where did the days go? Oh, stop. That's a mood. I can just go to bed, sweetheart. Don't need to nap on the couch. Oh, my babies. I hope she looks just like you, Citra, in all honesty. Right, she's popping you to bed. What are you doing? You're just squatting, popping a squatty. Okay, well, what I'm thinking we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to quit our job. We could technically still be a part-time barista, but I'm just, I, I, I just don't think it's the one. <laughs> uh, we've already got a part-timer in the household. So can we quit job? I get that really sad sound when she quits her job. Did it not let you find a job? Wait, I'm so confused. Just like calling your boss at like 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm sure we would like to quit. But anyway, let's head to bed. Where is my sitch? Stop it. This is adorable. Maybe she can't actually get into sleeping in the bed downstairs and that's why she's opted. in. I, I find this to be one of the most adorable things in the game. That they just need to be like cuddled to sleep and they just sit here and rock them. Oh, Citra knows. Oh, why is that so accurate? And then you just take a picture of your baby sleeping. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, well, sorry. Can we come downstairs? Is it my fault that you can't do that? You can't go to sleep. Cause I'm gonna feel real bad. Can you go to bed too? Oh, stop it. Is it the door? Can you go here? She can. Okay, sleep. The ottoman's in the way. Okay. Look, I was trying really hard to do a bit of more like um, decor, but it's not really working out, is it? And then I have a feeling, what could be my, is she coming here? Go here. So what's what's your picker with sleeping on that side? Is she just gonna squeeze over twice? No. Oh, this is just so heaven sent, I love it. And then you can just be like peeking out the window. Be like, wow. Not that anyone's doing that right now. Oh my goodness. The camera right now chill dog um okay so what i want to do is i'm gonna go put my baby to bed put ada down oh did she have a big nap just staying awake at 4 a.m to take care of my kid i think i did her shifts for the afternoon as well <laughs> loves wake up time oh stop what a good little noodle all right oh she can sleep up here can you go here okay so the plant's in the way I had a feeling there would be some issues, but I was really trying here, guys. Okay, just appreciate me. Is that better? That looks like plenty of room to squeeze by. Why are you being a little butt? Oh, I'm actually so excited to play this. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I just love the family. I love the place and I love the people around us. And I'm really excited to play marbles. Wait, you can watch. Oh, stop. It would have been cute if she, uh, obviously she can't play with Ada because Ada can't walk yet. Good point. But that was not the point that I was making. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. She's an early riser. She's literally got everything to do with sleep. You go back to bed now. Oh, keep going to sleep. Try go night night. I know you're an early riser, but you've not slept at all, babe. Ada, don't fight me. You snoozing? She's refusing to sleep. Oh, that's not going to go down well. 
trigger that night. She's gonna trigger to not sleep again. All right, somebody get her. <laughs> He's got the best sleep, probably you. Ada, soothes to sleep. Will this help? Hey, sugar plum. She's thinking about her brother, and she's going to offer a listening ear to Hina. Sorry, I need to see the interaction. So I'm gonna actually wake up Citra a little earlier. Oh no, she's sleeping. Okay, cool. Let's go uh, serve some breakfast, some fruit salad. <gasps> What's this? A drift from missing Taramani culture. Citra has been feeling unmoored lately. Her community and culture is an anchor and maybe it's time to reconnect. Absolutely. I agree. Oh, you're not going to see Hina? Become friends with Hina? That's cute. So are there other people just like hanging about today or? No, it's just the fam bam. Okay, well, seems decent. I love the sounds out here. <gasps> they can come fish down. Does she have a fishing skill? I don't think she does. She's a level three fishing skill. <laughs> she got some earbuds. Okay, well you have, technically you do have work today. She's feeling flirty. Oh, girls. Uh... <laughs> Wait. Wait, no, 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 you can't just make out with my neck and then like run away. Come on, 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 girls, you deserve it. A little bit of cheeky morning woohoo Board, tea deprived, ooh, I thought that actually meant food wise. Let's go clean the chili, but how do I snoop is the real question. Oh my girls, why are you, t <sighs> oh, is it cause we don't have like a bin downstairs? Fair play, fair play. Can't you like set sink type, kitchen sink? <laughs> I can't believe it's actually come to that bathroom. All right, my girls have been busy. Oh! Performed poorly. Whoa, well, you guys have obviously thought, oh, look at you being a good noodle. What was I actually doing? You go snooping. Can she? No, okay. Discover secrets. Oh, go to the Sims residence, select the front door and eavesdrop. We interact with mailboxes. Oh, she can't, can she eavesdrop on either of these ones? No. Just watch junk mail. Why can't you do anything? That's just not it. Oh no, somebody's gonna clean that up. Is she gonna go eat that in her apartment? She's putting it in the bin. Wow, okay. Look, I really don't. It's her brother, that's so good. All right, well, she's snoozing. Did you just try beat up my... <laughs> what are you doing? Let's, uh, hold on. Where is everyone? Okay, so he's going to use it. Can we lock for individual? There's no snooping to be had. Oh, Cassandra's going in too. It is a communal bathroom and shower, so. You just can't poop in front of everyone. Oh, look at my girls. Generous, Rosalie is a generous sim. Um, it's a generous sim. Generous sims constantly desire to uplift others and are willing to lend an ear to someone else's hardship. They get along with just about everyone and prefer to be polite and respectful to others. This allows them to form relationships and improve their charisma skill quicker with other sims. However, generous sims aren't always the best with their finances, particularly when they can't resist giving away a few smallions to other outside Wait, others outside the household. Rosalie, y'all better stop that. <laughs> we need our money. Wait, what are you wearing? Slippers. Oh, oh, oh. Watch. <laughs> Can't she? I want her to like, no. I just want her to be like a bit of a snoopy lady. Give unwanted advice. Oh, I feel like she'd be that kind of person. Oh, Tamar. I'm gonna butch this so much. Um, to spy on Cassandra? Absolutely, go for it. Just be that lady. Just be that lady that everyone's like, why is she here? Kind of vibe, you know? <laughs> oh, what is this? Spreading the love. Oh, it's a, it's a bit obvious. It's a bit obvious, sorry, but. Okay, so handle a maintenance event. I think we're fired at this time. Can we do anything here? Uh, we need literally to order a bunch of parts, which I don't want to work too hard on. You start at two o'clock. 
Oh, actually, is she coming to sit down and eat with you outside? Stop, this is such like a beautiful thing. I'm actually so excited for this, guys. Which, which, is she gonna go all the way up and use the kit, like the sink inside the house? Beautiful. I probably should have had a general kitchen area. Discover secrets. How do I discover secrets? We've spied on Cassandra. Interests. Deep thoughts. Give a lesson on hard work. Activities? No. Hmm. Congratulate her on the new job. Teach important lesson. Look. Hey! Our brother's here. Do you know invite him in? Um. Invite in. Has she technically... Oh, she does know him. Cool. She'd probably know him a bit better than we do, but... Um. Interest. Rave about favorite singers. Absolutely. There is... T <laughs> I love how she shoot them all out so she can go to the toilet. Okay, well, I guess to, we've got a lot going on, but um, welcome to... I haven't even named the residence or anything like that, but welcome to our home. Welcome to the apartments. Welcome to all the families involved here. I am very excited to kind of explore and get used to what all the rental packs about, but today was pretty much just a bit of an intro. So... Um, I will be leaving you here for today. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.